What's up, YouTube, Stock Twits, Twitter, Rumble, Discord, AMC, guys. Price has been falling. Price has been falling. It's a trap. It's a bear trap. We set the trap. It's going to spring. Game time, baby. Stock goes to two bucks, three bucks. Game time. Super Bowl. Forget Super Bowl. It's all about this uh, squeeze play. Who's going to resist AMC at two bucks, three bucks? Sure, sure. The float, technically, with Ape, is 15 times the size that it was when AMC first actually squoze in January, when it was only 100 million shares and 950 million Ape. They didn't exist. Okay, so it should be 12 cents a share. Based on the full-blown dilution Adam Aaron has crammed down our throats and rammed up our butts. But hey, whatever. After at like another two, three, four more dilutions, he says he'll finally have the debt paid off. He will have the debt paid off. Not us, not with our money. He will have the debt paid off. We should be thanking him. We should be groveling at his feet. He's the largest AMC shareholder. All he had to do was dilute on our ass multiple times last year and then gift himself a whole bunch of free shares so that he could claim that. He didn't He didn't buy any through stock purchasing. I didn't see any filing saying he was buying them with his own money. I don't know. Maybe you did. I did it. But hey, rant's over. Rant's over. I had to get that out of my system. Cost of borrow is still triple digits. Cost of borrow is still triple digits. That's very high for AMC, guys. AMC was like, uh, we're talking between 8 and 20% CTB for a very long time. When it just popped from like 4 bucks to 6 something, which is like a 50% pop, okay? Uh, the CTB was, was 300 something percent. So yes, some shorts closed out, but not all of them. There's still a, a boatload of shorts in there, clearly, uh, because CTB is still 178% or 150%. We'll see what it is on Monday, tomorrow, when it opens. I'll let you guys know. I'm, I'm going to be probably busting out daily AMC videos. Some will be sarcastic. Some will be, you know, not sarcastic. Probably more of the uh, latter than the former, but... You know, it's all in good fun. That that company and that stock owes me a lot of money. So uh, I'm going to have as much fun with it as I damn well please. Uh, so far, everybody seems to be enjoying the, the videos I put out most recently on it. Uh, if you go back and take a look at some of my previous videos where I do break it down like financially and by the numbers, uh, you know, there's a good load of information in there that's still actually relevant to this day. Uh, by and large, by and large... March is probably not looking good for apes, which is why that CTB is rising and shorts are piling in. Personally, I I truly, and I'm not joking here, would love nothing more to this than to see AMC go anywhere from right now to like four, uh, 10, 10 plus bucks would be like phenomenal. I know there's probably people bagging it from 40, 50, probably a ton in the 20s. Definitely a ton in the 20s. 30, 40, 50, right? But 10 bucks to me is like more of a realistic achievable, especially that 801, 801, 801. And then there was 1401, but forget that. That's just, that's 200%, almost 300% from where it's at right now. 801, give me that. Please, if there is a God, Pump this stock before the RS. Because I'm going to make all my money back after that. Uh, I God damn it. I might. I might. I might even buy like 100 shares. <laughs> and eight. I, knowing full well, I'm going to lose money there. Just to put some buy pressure on that stock. Not that that's going to help. But if 4.1 million people bought 100 shares... Between now and March, uh, you know, I don't know. It would probably help. It would help the, the interim buy pressure anyway. So I might have to do that just out of trying to get this thing to move. 
clearly there's still a ton of interest on the play. A lot of you guys are still, you know, hopium is at an all-time high. Again, like I am completely serious. I want to see this thing at least double before this RS. You've got three, four weeks to make it happen. It's going to require actual buying. That's not financial advice. That's just how it works. The stock will stay the same. And if shorts, if there's more shorts than there is buying, the stock will fall. That's, it's math. They sell it and then they buy it to close. So that's sell pressure. If there's some buying, it'll rise. Um, if you need to sell crypto to buy shares, if you need to sell profitable companies to buy shares, you got to do something. You cannot just sit on what you have and hope and wait and pray. That is not going to work. And that strategy hasn't been working for 16 months, guys. So I, I might do my fair share and up up it. My current position is one and one. <laughs> I just wanted to get the news. I wanted to get the shareholder news. Uh, I still have my first NFT. Maybe I hawk that. If Maybe I can get 10 bucks. I don't know. 10 bucks, that's a couple ape and an AMC. Better than a garbage, ugly-ass NFT. That thing is ugly as dirt. I got that Gold Hills one. I don't mind that one. It's, uh, maybe I hang on to that one. It's basically trash, too, though. Um, you may just right-click, save file, JPEG, and then sell it for whatever I can get. Who knows? Do what you got to do. You guys got a month to make this happen. Because after that, the financials will play a significant role on this play. You can't ignore them forever. There's been 13 non-profitable quarters, quarters in a row, 13. That's three years and th and three months of no profit. Revenue, no profit. Avatar 2, 3, 4, and 5, unlikely to save it. Wakanda Forever did not save it. Goddamn Top Gun didn't save it. They might have to make another one. I don't know. Ain't nothing saving it at this point. No matter how many movies y'all go see. Now they want to charge you for different seats and shit? I don't know about that. It makes logical sense. The garbage seats are cheap. But I think they just... They make those seats the same price. And then they make all the good seats that you actually wanted to sit in more money. So again, using retail to kind of bail them out. Whereas, from my perspective, if you can't get out of debt in three years after all the cash raise... AA's got to go, and every other director and executive, they need to go. They don't know what they're doing. Call me crazy. But when you are bad at your job, you lose your job. I don't know uh, what kind of protective bubble this guy's living under, uh, but you're bad at your job, you lose your job. And that goes for all of them.